Ashley Madison is a site devoted to maybe what's called the wondering eye. Anyone who potentially is thinking about having an affair can go on the site, sign up, and find someone else who's interested. So this is a site that's been very controversial, but at the end of the day, it has millions of users, so a lot of people are interested. About a month ago, hackers threatened to release lots of personal information. They said they were able to breach the servers, they were able to hack and get very valuable, sensitive user data, and they gave a warning. They said, if you don't shut down the site, we are going to post all of this data. Hackers made good on that promise and decided to do a huge data dump. We're talking 10 gigabytes on the dark web. 33 million accounts, 36 million email addresses. So when we were sorting through the data, we saw 15,000.gov.military emails. Now you gotta take this with a, a grain of salt because a lot of folks make up their email addresses uh, when they're signing up for the site because it's obviously a sensitive site. But what they can't make up was also released, which is payment information that reveals very, very telling things like your home address, your phone number. They were also able to get quite a bit of internal data from the company. We're looking at bank account information, internal memos. I spoke to one security researcher who said hackers essentially owned the servers. They did a ton of damage. So who's behind this? We don't actually know a lot about the group claiming to take credit. It's called the Impact Group. What they've said is that people doing this are immoral, they need to learn, and Ashley Madison also promises to keep their data safe, and Ashley Madison is not doing that. So they put out a manifesto. They said, find yourself in here, learn your lesson, and make amends. Embarrassing now, but you'll get over it. So what's next for Ashley Madison? Right now, the company's doing a lot of damage control and they're actively trying to find the people who are behind this hack. They haven't been able to do that. Representatives from Ashley Madison have said, whether or not you believe in what we do and what we stand for, hacking is a criminal act. And this is personal information that has been put out there on the web, ripe for identity theft. And if you're at home, there might be some people trying to Google and see if their significant other is on this site. Because when we look at the site, they claim to have 40 million users. We don't know if that's necessarily true. That's a lot of folks using a site devoted to infidelity.